Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement with having. The one thing I'd like to say to people who are committing cybercrime because they think it's funny or they think they have the right to abuse me or anyone else like me who lives in poverty is that you will either end up in one of two places. You will either end up correctly in jail for cybercrime and identity theft and fraud that you're placing on your own life as opposed to what you're thinking you're doing to someone else's life or you'll end up dead by people like me and not me. You see, when I say like me and not me is that people will start to listen to you, spout off, tell your story of what you're doing to somebody like me, and eventually they'll just get tired of your shit. Because what they'll realize is, if you'll do that to me, a total stranger, you'll do that to anybody. And people don't like that. America is about freedom. America is about efficiency. America is about decency. America is about diversity. And you, when you do your abuse, like you do, misrepresent not only your own self, but you misrepresent your family of origin, your family of choice, and any portion of community that the physical attributes of you represent. Beyond that, you're misrepresenting your position in the world because you may be in a position that's impoverished yourself when you try to lord over other people in a position of power, most people are offended by that. In life, we have most of the time to show who we are to God. And once you get there, you think, I'll be fine, I'll go to heaven, I'm a good person. No, you're not. You're harming someone's life. You're harming their prospects. You're harming their paperwork. You're, par you're harming and disarming and editing and abusing their property that's not yours. And you are sometimes emotionally clearly retarded or of in a specialty needs situation in your mind because you think that what you're doing gives you some sort of governance of me or anyone else over time and it doesn't. You've just enslaved yourself like an old slave of our community to think that you had rights to do anything at all to me. How dare you think you have rights over me? How dare you think you have rights to give up your own rights to abuse me? And how dare you think you have the right to put your hands on me or unzip my pants or undo my belt or touch me in an inappropriate way in the middle of the night? How dare you think you have the rights to be in control of me?